So now that you have that done, you have this is what it should look like, a big nice wall around your thing. And what I did at the last part was any big open holes that you want because it wants to be a very solid barrier. Just fill in with this, but make sure it doesn't look like what make sure it looks like that and not like that. Because then it won't look right. It won't won't look right when you do that. So that's what you want to do. And now you're going to do slash plot home. See where the very front of your plot is. So this is where mine is. And see it's right there. Now you want kind of a more... You could go for a grand entrance. Or you could go for a tiny entrance. Um, here. So she's going to poke a hole through here. And so you can see... It doesn't look too grand. But I guess that's kind of one, kind of wanting it to be more of a like secretish entrance, I guess. So not really gonna make this too wide anymore. Oh, I had it right there. So I guess I kind of want it more grand now. I don't know why, but this is a a good size for me. It, it, it looks nice. So now I'm gonna get some vines just for here. Just so that you can, uh, you can feel here. Just pretty much, I just want it to look like that. It's kind of look like smashed. Kind of to give it that more iffy feel. So you have that. It looks pretty cool. It looks stylish. And then, so this is what we're gonna be doing. So yeah, I will see you guys in just a second. Now the next material you will need is gravel, some bone meal, and some, some more of the dark oak saplings. So what you're going to do is you're going to just scatter these sort of like a path. What, you, what you're going to do with the gravel is just randomly place it along here. Making it look like it's a path sort of like you could just walk along it and should look like. But yeah, you you can see what type you want and how how you want your path to look as you go along. So you can also branch off if you want to tiny little gardens and stuff like that. So I'm gonna actually show you what I want what I'm gonna do for my garden. So, so I just randomly place so like that. So, so far, this is where my path is going to be leading. So, what you also want to keep doing along the way, though, is not a very solid one, but still some of these just guiding you <coughs> along. Not like you're getting directed automatically to it, just like, sort of just nice little, like, trees. So, just, just like this, and just keep going, and... Growing, yeah. But make sure that when you do want to continue the path, there's still you still have a a place to go, like that. So, whoops. Go. And it's okay if this happens. Just I don't want very many flowers in mine yet, because that's where the garden's supposed to. The garden's supposed to have. Then I'll do one right here. Just okay. This is the. This is sometimes what can happen, and you have to get rid of some of the leaves, not all the leaves, but some. So and that's what I kind of want my path to look like. Oh. So yeah, I'm like I'm gonna get rid of all these flowers. Push, push, push. Boom. Okay. So there we go. So this is our tiny little pathway, and so uh, yeah. So let's I will move on now to the garden. The garden is obviously going to be optional. All of this is optional, but this is just how I like to do it and how I like to make it a place. So I will see you guys in a second. <laughs> okay, so now we are back. Um, like I just said, the things I have now are some nice flowers that really go well with the dark. So like that's nice, nice blue, a nice dark red. Purple goes well with it kind of iffy about the pink, but I mean, it, it's okay with it, and the white, obviously, goes too, so, 
Um, yeah, so let's start, and then I have some water, uh, some grass right this up, uh, oak fence, and oak fence gate, because it's not 1.8, so. If it was 1.8, you should go with the dark oak fence, so that, that would look kind of nice, but I still think that it would nicely go along with it, so what you're going to do is just roll all the way around, however big you want it to be, so... kind of a nice section so do it nicely like this and then you're gonna do like a tiny little one like this so then make sure you like go out some just nice some flowers here and then you what you would want to do afterwards which I'll show later actually so never mind whoops okay Whatever. So then you can just go along like this. Have it here. Some nice flowers. Get one here. And then you can add some. You know, let me get some. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get rid of these two flowers because I don't like them very much. Oops. Um, I'm going to get some stone. Stone goes nice. And with this, and place all this with dirt. Actually, that's uh, I meant stone. Sorry. Stone. I, I was thinking grass, and I was I had grass in my hand, and I was like. So then, just a nice little waterfall to go down. And then you can get rid of the stone right here to make it look just a bit nicer. And then add some flowers around here. So that looks like too symmetrical. And all of this doesn't have to be like exactly how I'm doing it. I'm just trying to do it so it looks nice and pretty. Whoops. No, there's water there. Okay, there. So yeah, you kind of can just continue on from this. So, yeah. But what I'm actually going to do now is, I just thought of an idea. Is to... Uh, yep, okay, and then to... Have some nice walls here. Just do this. Place water here. I don't know why this works, but it does. Okay, it looks like it only works with this. So, bit of water. Okay, this water. So this is the one right here. Just the water. Just this and. the water. Okay, I don't know how I got it to work before, but I did, but I'm just going to do this and just some random water. This <coughs> is all about water here, so. There we go. So that looks nice for my water. And I don't think you actually just gave me a good idea. We can place some lily pads down. There we go. There's okay, so there's my, my little garden done. So I will see you in the next section.